What's up guys? You just entered part two of this video. So let's get into it. I hope you enjoyed the last video I posted yesterday. It's pretty much just me collecting all these leaves and stuff. I've gathered these leaves and decaying wood. So I'm gonna be trying to make um an isopod enclosure, like DIY, just gathering all the stuff on my own. Cause like most of y'all probably are like me and ain't trying to like order all this stuff online. Like uh it's just it's hard. I mean, it's not really that expensive or anything. It's just like, it's a hassle, even though this is probably more of a hassle collecting all this stuff. But I don't know the right words to use. It's just like, yeah, it's easier for like, um, most of the people that watch this, probably all of them are kids. So they just go outside and do it all themselves instead of um, trying to convince their parents, like, can you please buy me this dirt? Why the hell you need dirt? Like, just go outside. It's dirt. What are you talking about? And then it's like, you don't know what the words to say. So yeah, I got you, my dude. So let's get into this. Alright. Uh, Freaking frick it. Alright, so got this tank full of coconut fiber. And I'm gonna be adding some oak leaves. Just into it be. And some of this decaying wood. Now with the wood, you are gonna want it to break it up into pieces. As I'm doing now. So yeah. Just like that. Break it up into these pieces. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta crunch this junk up. The reason for that is um, it's gonna be easier and more spread out so that the millipedes will actually be able to um, find food much easier. And this piece looks pretty cool. It has a huge hole in it. So I'm probably gonna keep that just as like, I don't know. I mean, millipedes don't need enrichment. I don't think they could think like that, but it would just be a cool thing to have them crawl through the hole. So yeah, I'm gonna leave all the ones that have weird holes in it. But yeah, so just breaking these pieces of wood up, putting it throughout the enclosure. And yeah, I mix it all in. Grab another handful. Break this junk up. Hey, yeah, I'll break this junk up. All right, so um, I'll come back to you guys once I got all this pretty much broken up and I'll show you the final product. What's up guys? So the substrate mixed in, I'm gonna be adding more, but um, I need to hit um, a substrate run real quick. You get some from the pet stop, pet store. And yeah, I'm be moving in the millipedes. Um, I have more coming in tomorrow. So yeah, but pretty much what I have right now Let's put that in with them. I have these bumblebee millipedes. It's the first one. It's gonna be going in here. See, I'm gonna try to have um multiple species in one um tank. I literally forgot the flash, but there's bumblebee millipede. Um, should be another one in here. My dude. Oh, there it is. You're not supposed to dig for millipedes, but. Just for the video. So there's the second one. And you know what? We're just going to dump this whole substrate in. Just because. Like. Running low on substrate. So yeah. There's that. Mix it in. Just so junk ain't ugly on the top. Guys. Just want to. Your friendly reminder that millipede lives do matter. All right, and yeah, let's get into the second species. <laughs> what the heck were you doing? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, that is gonna go on my YouTube channel. Okay, but so in here oh, are some ghost millipedes. These are also, well, the bumblebee ones. I actually can't remember if they're native. I think they are. But these are also native to Cal America. I was about to say California, but the United States. Not America, just the United States. 
So yeah, there's one. Wow. There's two right here. And then number three. Here, y'all trying to see number three. Number three should be. Hey, yo, where number three at, though? Oh, yeah. When your sister's smarter than you? Oh, my God. There it is. Hey, don't bully me on my channel, cuz. All right, so, yeah, that's the third one. So, they should do amazingly so that's good. in there. Oh, damn. Let's pop that one out. So, let's get the last few real quick. Let's get it. This is the... Giant North American millipede. This one right here. I don't know what the hell is wrong with it. Just being a little bit weird. But, yeah. His legs are moving. Hey, put it down. Just put it down. My sister is trying to get on the bed real quick. There you go. Million things going on at once. Whenever I'm making new tank, my room gets hella dirty, so don't hate. Just appreciate. And yeah, look at all these. They're just everywhere. Alright. So now. Oh, I really shouldn't be digging for millipedes, but. Dump it out again. No, I don't want to dump this one out. I have an isopod culture in here. Oh, there that one is. That one is literally molting. Oh, crap. Guys, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, hold the hell up. Oh my gosh. Guys, that was literally worst case scenario. I don't know what the hell my luck was. So, don't touch that, baby. Yeah, um, so, yeah, that thing was molting. Pretty much what that means is it was shutting off its old exoskeleton. And, oh my gosh. Good thing I caught it on camera. That's why you guys never want to, um, what do you call it? Dig for your millipedes. Because that is inclined to happening. I mean, that is, that is what can happen. And it can harm or kill your millipedes. Oh no. Look, right there, baby. Not right now, because there's a rat in there. And it's true. In feed mode. So, yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. Um, cameo by my sister. Ah, y'all got pranked, bro. Well, I told you that I was gonna get more millipede and stuff, so that came in the mail. So let's unbox them. So I found a knife. I think I'm, I almost cut myself, but um, yeah, we got Desiree on the camera. <sighs> Yo, what the hell am I doing though? Remember, guys, never cut towards yourself. Always cut towards your siblings. Okay, guys? It's a very smart thing to do so that if you the knife does slip out, it doesn't cut you, but instead it kills your um, siblings. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The hell up? Oh, it's a piece of tape. No more. All that goody stuff. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Got a heat pack or ice pack, actually. Yeah, that's an ice pack. Okay, this one. One I'm really excited about. <laughs> it's smaller than I thought, but this is a Vietnamese giant centipede. Hold up. Mm. Look at that. Smaller than you thought. Good. I don't like that. <laughs> it's scary. Alright. So that's the first thing. I can't wait to get that into an enclosure. Then I got this thing just because I have an African blue tailed skink. And. Like, 
some orange throat skink. This thing's gonna get lost with the blue tub. So here, let me put that in this real quick. I'm just gonna eat that. Catch this. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, thank God. Here. So yeah, that's that. Oh, I think they get a little bigger than that. It's a pretty boring looking lizard. I just thought I should get it. All right, now, time for the millipedes. You dig? So. Oh, what the hell is this packaging? So these are the giant pink foot millipedes. And these. Oh, yo, what the hell? These better all be alive, bro, I swear. Yeah, there's three. That one's alive. This one, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that one's alive also. Alright, my fingers are kind of burning. Let me wash my hands. Last thing, Florida Irie millipedes. Pretty basic. Just wanted a really colorful millipede, millipede tank. Got two of these. Hopefully they'll start breeding. Yo, what? <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Got two millipedes in Nisby. So let me put these in their new tank real quick. Grab this. Hell yeah, what? Oh. Alright. Coming here, my dudes. It's dry on the top, but it's hella moist on the bottom. So. So yeah, got two of those. Those are gonna get pretty big. Sprinkle some of that moss. And then the flame legs. Which their legs are not looking that flamey right now. Okay, go crawl in there. All right, last one real quick. Look at those legs. Alright, and let me go find the spray bottle. I'll be back. I needed to get a tub for these, but this is gonna have to do for now. Once I need to take out, switch out their substrate, then I'm gonna put these in a tub. And yeah, that should be way nicer. Yeah, so there's about four species. Wait, two, four, about six species of millipedes in here, guys. bunch of different colors so hopefully this will be a nice great experiment i hope you guys learned something from this second part of the video and yeah like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next youtube video oh y'all got pranked bro we need the centipede you dig my sister straight up um said lates to me but this is the enclosure i thought it was gonna be a little bigger so i was gonna put it in this thing but yeah, until then, I'm just going to keep it in here. And, yeah, I had a water dish somewhere. Oh, it's right here. All right. So this water dish, just because I have this one that's super huge right now, just because they're usually really dehydrated when they come in the mail. Don't you just love my recording, guys? Jesus Christ, I'm horrible. But, yeah, I got some oak leaves that I burned, and I'm not going to use them the other thing, so I just have them in here. Just for design, matches colors. So now... Hopefully I don't get bit. Crap. 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 Come on. Crap. Don't like that. Get away from the paper. Okay. Okay. So look at that beautiful reds and everything oh yeah looks like he's wanting to dig in i'm gonna have the lid out just in case but yeah guys look at that amazing species of centipede okay yeah so i'm actually pretty hyped that i got this 
pretty amazing. And yeah, hope you really enjoyed this video. This is actually the outro. All right, guys. So yeah, that was the end of the video. Here, do my outro with me. In the camera, in the mirror. In the mirror. Come on. All right, so what, what do I say in my YouTube videos? Make sure to subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. Ooh, okay. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Ooh. And if you do, you get a new lizard. Wow. Oh, base scope. See, the base scope is over there. Hey, you can't fake give a giveaway. That is not true, guys. I do not know. I do yes, not know. That is true. No, it's, it's not. It's and not follow true. me on TikTok. <laughs> guys, um, that is, I'm legally, I'm legally obligated by YouTube to say yeah. that is not real. Because if you do a fake giveaway, uh, they could ban you. So, yeah, I will not be giving these away. Um, but, yeah. Late. Late!